Hi, welcome to Blue Prism Tutorials. My name is Amir. This is part six, creating an user account in Blue Prism. Let me switch to Blue Prism Virtual Workforce. Please provide sign in details like username and password when you're going to log into the Blue Prism. I'm giving admin and the password I'm giving as admin at the rate of 123. These are all my credentials when I'm going to sign in with the admin role. Click on sign in. Then you will find different different tabs over here. One is home, studio, control, dashboard, releases and system. Click on system to create a new user. Okay. Once you click on the system, you will find the security over here and you can you can see the by default you are having security users as admin. Double click on the admin and go to edit. You can see what is the name and the password for the particular uh, settings for the user admin. And you can see the expiry dates when it is going to be expiring and the roles and permissions. What are the permissions are there for the particular role? The admin having sys administrator and he has the permissions are all for the you know control room, dashboard, object studio, process alerts, process studio, release management and all the things. Now in the same way I want to create a new user in the by using Blue Prism. How can I go ahead? So if you see on the right hand side you, you will see user maintenance. Click on new and give the details like Blue Prism. I'm just giving the username as Blue Prism user. And I'm setting a password. I'm setting default password as admin. And I have entered retype password also to verify it. And click on next. And you can say, you can also assign when the current user has to expire. So I'm going to give it as the expiry date as, you know, future date. And the current password expiry date I am also giving as December 30th. So password duration. I'm going to this is the notification when we want to get it, four weeks and then click on next over here, over here you can see different different roles like alert subscriber developer and process administrator schedule administrator and all what are, we are having different different roles as of now that I'm going to give it as a developer for the developer by default you will get it as the object studio and the process studio click on finish so the user has been successfully created. Click on OK. Now you can see there's a user already created. OK, now go ahead and if you want to change it once again, you can go ahead and you can change this if you want anything. So I'm going to coming out of the signing out of the admin role. And then I'm going to use username. What are the users that have given? And given password as password. And if you see right now, for the particular user, like what are the users that we have created? Blue Prism user. If you see, sign it in as user Blue Prism user. Okay, now based on that, you can see only the uh, process studio and the object studio only you can see that. But the remaining things, control, dashboard, releases, and system, these are all have been disabled. Why? Because, so when you are going to create a role, the name we have given as Blue Prism and the permissions we have given only for the process studio on the object studio only. That's the reason you can't find it anything apart from home on the studio. So in this session, we learned how to create a new user by using admin roles. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.